是光滩，今天我要给你们分享一个法国特别特别经典的一个美食。So in、uh, 2002, I came to China. Was、uh, originally to study business, so it was a partnership between my business school in France and a Chinese business school. So、I、came to Beijing for three years. And、uh, at that time, I didn't know how to cook anything, basically, other than a bit of pasta, and that's it. And、uh, when I arrived in China, I fell in love with Chinese food very quickly. Every time I travel anywhere, I'm gonna, of course, try as much local food as I can,、uh, as I can take. And、uh, also going to、uh, the local markets, so vegetable, finding some new vegetables, some new、uh, local specialty,、uh, specialty produce. It's very,、uh, very interesting for me as a chef, and I think it really shows like the, also the diversity of,、uh, of climates and of soil in China is huge. If you go to Sichuan Bana, the things you're gonna get from what you get in Dongbei is just two different worlds, very, very different. So I think it's very interesting, and every time I go anywhere, I'm sure I'm gonna find some new things that I've never、uh, seen before. To be honest, my main goal is very、uh, simple, but it's just to. Get people cooking,、uh, cooking more at home, and experiencing some new food. I think food is really a, a vehicle to also create a more cultural exchange, because it starts from the food. In the long run, if they like the food, they're going to be interested of what's the cultural background be behind this food. It's the same thing when I go back to France. I cook some Chinese food for my family, for my friends, and they're going to be interested. Oh, this dish it's a little bit spicy. Oh, this one is from Sichuan. This one is from Shanghai. Oh, where is Sichuan? What's different?、Uh, how Sichuan is different from Shanghai? And so, from a, yeah, from a basic dish, you're gonna get a bit more about some cultural、uh, background, and I think it's a great bridge to create that cultural exchange between different countries.